Hey guys, YouTube Warrior 100 here. Okay, this is probably going to be kind of a controversial video, but to be quite honest, I don't really care. Because this is a, something that has just been getting under my skin for months and months, and I'm just so irritated by this, and I just can't put up with it anymore. Alright, first things first. All you people out there who are fans of the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy this video this is not I'm not gonna be calling you guys stupid or anything and I'm not calling people who like these movies these morons or anything I'm not saying you're stupid because yeah these are good movies I like them too I'm just gonna be this video it's just directed to all of you fanboys out there who are constantly ass kissing the Dark Knight Rises? All right, all you people who you fanboys out there that like the Dark Knight Rises, you're saying, "Oh, this is a this is a great movie. This is the best Batman movie ever. This is the best movie of 2012. This movie totally tops all the other Batman movies." No, it does not. Yeah, this is just going to be a, not really a rant, just a shoot on The Dark Knight Rises, because this movie, this was a good movie, but this is just so overhyped, overrated, completely forced. This movie is not as good as the first two movies in the trilogy. This movie has so many flaws about it, and this movie is just so... It just. I'm just getting sick and tired of people totally ass kissing and praising the crap out of this movie. Okay. First things first. All of you people out there, you say that this is the best Batman movie in the trilogy, or the best Batman movie of all time. Okay. Are you crazy? I know it's opinion, but that's really a poor opinion. I'm sorry, but it is. Okay, how can you honestly say this is better than The Dark Knight? How can you say that this is better than Tim Burton's 1989 Batman movie? Yeah. And really, I would say this isn't even as good as Batman Begins. And it's not as good as Batman Returns either. I enjoyed those movies way more than this. Okay. First of all, Christian Bale as Batman in this trilogy, that's not good. Okay? Everyone knows about that silly voice Christian Bale has when he's Batman. Hi, I'm Batman. It's just completely ridiculous and laughable. And it's just... God, it's so retarded. And all of you out there have criticized it too, and you know that it's dumb. Alright. Another thing in The Dark Knight Rises, Bane. Alright. Now, Bane, some people like him. I personally don't like him at all. I do not like Bane in this movie at all. I didn't. I don't like either version of Bane in these Batman movies. I don't. Now, I hated him in Batman and Robin much more than in the, this movie. But I still do not like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises at all. I don't like his look at all. It just... I mean, that thing he just wears over his face. And his voice just... When did Bane become part robot? He's sounding like Darth Vader. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I just didn't buy Bane at all in this movie. Anne Hathaway is Catwoman. I did like her, but... In all honesty, I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was better as Catwoman. Even though Anne Hathaway was more like the comic book Catwoman, I still prefer Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman much more. I prefer that personality for Catwoman. That's just freaking awesome. Yeah. It's still Anne Hathaway is good as Catwoman. Really, I mean, and in this movie, Batman's not in it enough. 
often, and there's not really even enough of the other main characters from the previous two movies in here. Alfred, Morgan Freeman's character, and even Commissioner Gordon in this movie enough. Really. Yeah, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he... Yeah, he was good in this movie. I've, I think maybe he probably was put in this kind of... Not really too much, but more than we needed him. Yeah, and all the stuff with Bruce Wayne being in Bane's prison or whatever. All of that stuff, that was so freaking boring. I, I did not enjoy any of that. Bruce Wayne being locked up in Bane's prison. He was locked up in that for over half the movie. And it really, it... All that was just way too long. Um, it was complete pointless and really yeah th that's my least favorite part of the movie right there all that crap with Bruce Wayne being locked up in Bane's prison or whatever so boring way too long and as I said Batman is not in the movie enough he's in a good portion of the movie but still he should have been much more than he was yes so all of that stuff, and you're saying that this is better than The Dark Knight, are you serious? All the action scenes from The Dark Knight, and even every, all the other characters, the Joker, Two-Face, I mean Heath Ledger was phenomenal as the Joker, that's one of the best villain performances ever in movie history. And even in Batman Begins, the Scarecrow, the Scarecrow was even way more enjoyable than Bane was, I don't care what any of you say. You say Bane's better. No, he's not. The Scarecrow, hands down, is better than Bane, clearly. And somebody was asking me he would be able to fight Batman like Bane was. Fighting is not everything, okay? I mean, seriously. It's not about just fighting between a superhero and their enemy, alright? I mean, yeah, that's just so dumb, alright? If that's the case, why don't we just see Batman and the Riddler have fist fights? I mean, seriously. Yeah. And anyway, yeah, so, yeah, and even the Tim Burton movies, Batman and Batman Returns, those had much more action in them than The Dark Knight Rises did too. Those two... Those were extremely dark, because you know how Tim Burton is. Yeah. So yeah, those were extremely dark movies. So they were real violent. And yeah, those were much more intense, and way more entertaining than the Dark Knight Rises was. And to be quite honest, I can watch the Tim Burton Batman way more than the Christopher Nolan ones. Uh, yeah, so that's what I say about how people can say that this is the best Batman movie ever uh-uh alright second thing is people said this is the best movie of 2012 is that a joke seriously have you forgotten about the Avengers the Avengers was freaking great Alright? The Avengers, that's one of the best superhero movies of all time. Alright? People say that that movie, it had stupid humor and stuff. It did not. Alright? All that humor was great, and it made sense. Especially all the stuff with the Hulk, with I'm always angry, and when he punched Thor off the screen, and he was slamming Loki around with the I will not be bullied by Earth. <laughs> And then when he screamed to wake Iron Man up, yeah, all that was freaking great. Alright, The Avengers was a better movie than The Dark Knight Rises. Another movie better, The Hobbit. Alright, I didn't see The Hobbit, but from other people have told me it was freaking great. And yeah, The Hobbit, I don't really know what to say about that because like I said, I didn't see it. But people I know I can trust, they say that that is better than The Dark Knight Rises. And lastly, of course, Django Unchained. Alright. Yeah, I didn't see this either, but yeah, everyone knows that it was great. 
Yeah, so all of you out there that are saying that The Dark Knight, this is the best movie ever, or this is the best Batman movie ever made, this is the best movie of 2012, you really need to go rewatch some of the other Batman movies. Two Tim Burton ones and the other two in this Christopher Nolan trilogy. And any of you that say it's the best movie of 2012, you need to go back and watch stuff like The Avengers, The Hobbit, Django Unchained. Yeah, yeah those movies were better movies of 2012 than Dark Knight Rises were. Really, so yeah. The Dark Knight Rises, it is way below. The Dark Knight and Tim Burton's Batman, and it's also underneath Batman Returns and Batman Begins. Now, it is unquestionably, it is definitely better than Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Yeah, it definitely does top those two movies. But yeah, it's definitely out of all seven of the movies, it's in the bottom three. Yeah, if you were ranking them, so. Yeah, it's just, yeah. So, that's all I really have to say about this. Just, this movie, I'm just tired of it getting a bunch of overrating and being praised so much by the ass-kissing fanboys. And, yeah, this is just so freaking irritating. I just had to come out and make this video addressing all those ass-kissing fanboys. So, yeah, that's it for this. Alright, and, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. I'll see you guys later.